Some time ago I bought a underwater camera because I wanted to do some pictures and videos uh, on my trip to Egypt and uh, I bought a Olympus new tough 8010 camera I use it for a couple of years and just uh, put it with my other things and I found it the other way but uh, unfortunately I did could not find uh, my cable charge cable and Olympus has its own USB cables and they are not very easy to find or if I order one I have to wait like for a month for the cable to come from uh, China so I decided to find a way to charge my battery it's this one it's a Sony made battery LI50B plus minus and uh, that's some uh, data channel I guess temperature maybe most likely temperature uh, so uh, I decided to create one to create a charger based on the TP4056 board because I have some of these and uh, this is the video showing how I did it okay let's start first was design uh, it's in Tinkercad quite an easy to use online 3D application so here it is the whole charger consists of the total of 22 parts mashed up in Tinkercad just a small design so here is where we put the battery we just slide it in and it gets charged on the back we have uh, the box for our TP4056 board right here and uh, the wires go out of the board the negative goes here and through a hole under and the positive goes here and go the wire goes under the charger itself there we have uh, dedicated channels for uh, the wires to go straight to the battery slot on the front this is positive and negative they go to the front to the slot and we put a bit of the wire upwards through these holes so when we slide the battery in it uh, actually connects to those wires and uh, this is how it works and on this side we have the uh, USB port for our TP4056 board so we connect uh, just the USB cable micro USB and uh, it works so after exporting it from Tinkercad as an STL file we import it to Swicer to get it ready for printing here is the general look of the whole charger and uh, the settings don't, you don't need to copy that just uh, enter any settings that you know that work for your printer much info is not needed no skim brim or uh, sub uh, supports are needed as well so uh, here is a look of the layers of the whole charger from bottom to the top and back and just a small preview of the printed charger the way uh, Swicer sees it okay that's it for this part so here it is ready printed <coughs> with the places for uh, wires underneath which come out right here and place for a TP board and of course place for the battery to slide in
So let's just uh, test it out real quick. If everything fits, I'm just gonna get the battery. Okay, so the TP goes here like this. And the battery goes right here. So now I'm going to test it out just to see if uh, this kind of wiring works using an external TP implementation with uh, magnetic ends and a couple of uh, wires going straight to the holes for the battery. So we just slide it in. And I haven't uh, mounted very well the, the wires, so I have to push a bit. But in general, it works just fine. It starts charging the battery. So, uh, next thing is to put the uh, TP board, wire it up, soldier everything, and we're good to go. So first step is to make the holes for uh, the wires on the base. You just have to see where exactly the wires go out and make a, a couple of holes. And I, I'm again using just a quick TPA is low temperature way of thinking and do, doing it with the soldiering iron real quick like this okay so next we have to solder the two wires and uh, before I forget I do have a 4057 TP4057 but I decided to use the uh, 4056 because uh, I don't really need any reverse polarity protection because the battery is not symmetric so uh, there is absolutely no way for me to connect the battery the wrong way and I have uh, quite a lot of TP4056 so I decided just to use this one instead of the smaller and uh, a, li a little bit more advanced 4057 which I'll use in some other projects. So uh, next let's soldier. Okay, next uh, we have to mount the TP board in its box or housing. Okay, so now everything is mounted here. Yep. 
next is to get these ends all the way to here I will most likely go under cap right here so these wires are not exposed this will just uh, keep them in their places but we'll see I'll test it out a bit and then I'll decide if I want to do that <coughs> okay so both of them popped out so I just have to cut them and test it out maybe not with this Okay, and I have to cut the other one the same length. Or at least something smaller. Just a bit more. Okay, so the wires are in, I went to the TP board and now the only thing that's left is testing, let's see. Okay, so the battery is, is in place, the white is red, so it means it's charging. So everything works, I'm able to actually charge my battery. I will consider this uh, project a success. Now I have a charger for the battery. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. You can now uh, like, subscribe or dislike of course if you don't didn't like this video. It's your choice. But I will like to thank you for watching and have a good one. Bye.